Well, it has turned out to be more of a serious issue than previously thought. We're talking about myocarditis happening to some young people after getting the coronavirus vaccine, both the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. The CDC is looking into it, and we wanted to get an idea of just how big a problem this might be. Dr. Guillermo Oliveira is professor and chief of the Division of Cardiovascular Services with USF Health, Mersani College of Medicine. He's also the director of the USF Health Tampa General Hospital Heart and Vascular Institute. And he's He's a good friend. Doc, good to see you. How you doing, man? Good to see you. Also, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. All right, let's start with the definition, shall we? What is uh, myocarditis? Okay, so myocarditis is an inflammation of the heart muscle. Um, it can be caused by a number of different um, etiologies, including the most common of which is viruses. Multiple viruses can cause inflammation of the heart muscle. It's similar, if you think about it, as inflammation of the liver that causes hepatitis. It's an inflammatory reaction um, that can have a multitude of symptoms. From what I've read, it can be serious, it can be minor, am I right? Correct. Most cases of myocarditis we believe are asymptomatic. In other words, people don't even know they have it. Um, there are a number of uh, scientists that believe that even with things such as the flu, which is a very common um, ailment, there is a, a large number of people that can actually have myocarditis and not even know about it. Uh, most cases of myocarditis are uh, asymptomatic. People don't know that they're having it. However, there are some cases wh where we, we begin to have symptoms, and those symptoms can be chest pains, uh, little stabbing chest pains, sometimes chest pressure. Some of them can be confused with the um, symptoms that you would have were you to have a heart attack, um, shortness of breath, mm. and, and so on and so forth. Is it, is it a treatable condition? Good, good question, that's a really good question. It depends on the etiology, and yes. The nice thing is, um, even if you get people that have serious myocarditis, right? Say they have myocarditis that affects their heart function, where you go from having a normal heart function to having an abnormal heart function with something that we call heart failure. Mm. In people that have heart failure from myocarditis, 50 to 60% of them completely recover spontaneously after uh, six months. Oh, Having wait. said that, there are some specific types of myocarditis that we can treat depending on the etiology. Okay. All right, I want to get to the, to the issue at hand here with the, uh, with, with the vaccine. We've got 226 okay. confirmed cases, and these are people under 30, and the, they've received <clears throat> the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines. Yeah. Younger people, uh, is this concern for you, and what do you recommend at this point? So let's put this into context, right? So myocarditis in COVID, if you, in other words, if you have COVID, your likelihood of getting myocarditis is about seven, five in a hundred. So okay. about seven to five percent. We're talking about an incidence here that's still about sixty in a hundred thousand chance of getting of getting um, uh, myocarditis. So it's it's a much much lower likelihood if you get the vaccine and you get myocarditis. From what I know and from having read the report so far, none of these cases have been lethal. And only four cases are actually in the hospital with myocarditis. So this leads me to believe that most cases of, of this myocarditis that we're seeing, which may or may not be associated with the COVID vaccine, mind you, we don't know. There are other viruses there mm -hmm. around that are not covered by the vaccine, um, seem to be mild 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 cases of myocarditis is what we're thinking in other words it's much more likely to get myocarditis from covid itself okay than from the vaccine we're, hey doc we're gonna have to wrap this up real fast but i want to ask you a okay. question before we go if, okay. if a parent is on the fence because i know it's happening in younger <clears throat> people if a parent's on the fence about giving their kid the vaccine what's your recommendation is to give it my 12 year old got it and I, the only reason I haven't given it to my 10-year-old is because it hasn't been approved and studied in 10-year-olds. But I, I would definitely recommend that every uh, young adolescent and young adult get the vaccine, as everybody else, in fact. I wouldn't hold it for anything at this point. Okay. Hey, okay. Doc, Doc, good to see you, as always.
Good Talk to, to you see you soon, okay? Good to see you, Russ. Thanks. Thank you.